That's effing sweet! Hi everybody, Emmanuel here from FinSuite with a walkthrough on how to clone and customize this globe over here in Webflow. Once you clone the project, you should be able to see it inside of the dashboard. Now let's open up the project and I'll show you how everything is being structured. You'll notice that we're having four different examples inside of the clonable. If you open any one of these examples, you won't be able to see anything in the designer. However, if you publish the page, you should be able to see the example live. Here's how example one looks, example two, example three, and example four. Now, let's head over to Webflow and see how all of this is working. If you open up the navigator, you'll notice that we're having the back button, the FS globe container, and this CMS collection. This FS globe container is rendering this globe over here and the collection is rendering all these tool tips that we can see on top of the globes as well as the pins themselves another important part of the build is the code that's located inside of the head and the body of our page now that you're familiar with the structure let's start customizing our globe so we'll head over to the navigator and we're going to select this FS globe container element. All we have to do now is change this image over here. To do that, first I have to upload a new map. I'm going to go to the assets panel and I'm going to upload this map that I created earlier in Photoshop. Once this is uploaded, all I have to do is click on this settings icon and click on this link icon over here which will copy the url to the clipboard then i simply have to paste it in here and click save that's it if i publish the project now our new map should be applied on the globe let's have a look at the result and there we go our globe is now red now that we changed our map we still have to customize our tooltips and pins Let's start by customizing our pin. If you open this collection list wrapper, you'll notice that we're having this element of FS globe pin. This pin is having an attribute of FS 3D globe element equals pin. Since the 3D globes are attribute powered, you can change this class to anything you like. However, it's essential that you keep these attributes in place. Now, the way you want to design this pin is up to you. Let's make this visible and let's add a funny Lottie animation inside of that pin. Here we can see how our pins are looking currently. I'm gonna delete this center over here and I'm also gonna remove this border over here. And inside of this FS globe pin, I'm simply gonna drop a Lottie animation. All right, and now all I have to do is hide the collection again and hit publish. And that's it, we have animated pins. Now let's customize our tooltip. Let's make this collection visible again. And here you'll notice that we're having this FS Globe tooltip. This tooltip is having an attribute of fs 3 globe element equals tooltip. It's important that we keep that, otherwise the tooltip will not be showing up. To add an image here, all we have to do is drop an image. Here in the globe points collection, we're already having some headshots. So I'm simply gonna add that. And now I'm going to head over to the CMS collection where I added my team members and I'm simply going to map them to map one. 
To find the latitude and the longitude for a given location, all you have to do is write a name of a city and write the word coordinate next to it. Then you're going to get these two numbers. Just make sure that if the latitude or the longitude has a negative prefix, a minus in front, that you add that. For example, here we can see 39 and here 84.5. But here, under the first result, you can see that it's a negative number. So make sure to add the minus. Okay, we're simply going to copy this, paste it in here. And I already have the longitude, so I'm simply going to click save, and that's it. And I'm going to get back to my globe example. With the CMS collection selected, I'm going to select under filters here, map equals map one. And this should show my team members inside of the tooltip. To the image here, I'm going to add a bottom margin. Okay, looks a little bit better. Now I'm going to hide the collection again, and I'm going to hit publish. And that's it. If we look at our globe now, we should be able to see all of our team members. Now let's recap what we just did. First, we cloned the project, then we replaced the map, we customized the pins and the tooltips to our liking, and finally, we published the project. And that is how you build a 3D globe in Webflow.